Hi, I'm Jessica Lahr, and this is a look at your weather for the third weekend of November in the Finger Lakes. Things are finally set to cool down to more seasonable levels heading into the weekend. After a warm but wet Thursday, a cold front will move through, leading to clear skies but much colder temperatures. Friday's daytime high will struggle to reach 40 but should still be a pleasant day. Saturday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 45 before rain and a chance of snow moves in overnight. Sunday will be cloudy with a high of 40 degrees and a 40% chance of rain or snow showers. The sun will return for the work week, but it will remain on the colder side with highs in the low 40s to kick off Thanksgiving week in upstate New York. For the complete forecast and live radar, visit our Weather Center online at FingerLakes1.com or on the free Finger Lakes One Android or iPhone app. With yet another great week of weather in the Finger Lakes, vis visitors to FingerLakes1.com have been treated to more great autumn photos. Here are our staff picks for the top five. At number five, Rachel Burkholder shows us the blue skies and warmer weather that made Sampson State Park a lovely place to be on Sunday afternoon, even though the pavilion was empty waiting for winter to set in. In the fourth spot, Lisa Dupre visited the falls at Casa Wasco Camp in Moravia Sunday to capture this scene. The falls become much easier to see now that the leaves have fallen. At three, Jack McAllister caught a delightful November dawn last Thursday over Seneca Lake from Dresden. Mother Nature presented a colorful show, although it was only there for a moment. At number two, Tuesday was rainy and foggy, but the first falls at Great Gully Falls in Union Springs still had plenty of appeal with the colorful leaves surrounding the falls in this photo by Rachel Burkholder. And our top photo of the week, Mike Sargent found a rather large gathering of gulls on Sunday afternoon who found the rocks along the Canandaigua Pier to be a perfect meeting spot. Great photos again this week, everyone, and thanks for sharing. You can check out all these photos and many more and learn how to share your own local photos with our users here at FingerLakes1.com by visiting our local photos page on our homepage or app. Maybe you'll find your photo in next week's top five. With just a week before Thanksgiving and the start of the holiday season here in the Finger Lakes, here's a look at your top five local events taking place this weekend. Kicking things off at number five, try your luck at Cayuga Center's ninth annual casino night on Saturday from 6.30 until 10.30 at the UNC on Washington Street in Auburn. Blackjack, roulette, beat the dealer, and other games will be offered in addition to 50-50 raffles and a door prize drawing for an iPad. Tickets at the door are $30 and all of the winnings will be paid in cash. At number four, St. Matthew's Episcopal Church in Moravia is hosting tours of its historic wood-carved interior during its fall festival from 9 until 3. The day will include a bazaar with crafts, demonstrations, baked goods, face painting, and a raffle. The tour will take visitors through the carvings and sculptures of Hans Meyer, and a luncheon will be available for $6.50 and will include homemade soups and sandwiches. 
Coming in at number three, Sustainable Finger Lakes is sponsoring an electric vehicle event at the Victor Intermediate School on High Street, Saturday from 2 until 5. If you have an electric vehicle or are interested in owning one, you'll be able to test drive a vehicle, learn about charging networks in and around the area, enjoy an electric car show, and many other activities for adults and children alike. More information is available at sustainableflx.org. At number two, a comedy show to benefit veterans in need through the American Red Cross Kit Program. Comedy Night featuring combat comedians will be held at the Palmyra Inn on Saturday starting at 7. The showcase is hosted by Dave DeFranco with co-host Woody Battaglia and features Mike Adelat, Lenny the Likeable Lush, and headlining is Ralph Tedda. There is a $10 donation at the door. And our top local event recommendation of the weekend is Deck the Halls Weekend on the Seneca Lake Wine Trail. Go to your chosen starting winery and begin a weekend of fun and festivities while sampling holiday wines and food tastings. The wineries are decorated for the holiday season. Over the two and a half day weekend event, visit the participating wineries, receive a recipe book, and collect ornaments to decorate your handmade grapevine wreath. These events are both co-sponsored by the Christmas House located in nearby Elmira. Tickets cost $53 per person or $75 for a couple. Whatever your plans, we hope you have a great weekend here in the Finger Lakes. On this week's Healthy Cooking with Your Friendly Italians, Jim and Marilyn Barrow took us inside the Gould Hotel in downtown Seneca Falls on Wednesday night, Ladies Night, and poured a couple of seasonal martinis.
On Friday, Jim Sinecropi and Kevin Korzineski announced FL1 Sports' upcoming live high school basketball webcast schedule. That video is available to watch at FingerLakes1.tv, but with season kicking off next weekend, let's take a look back at the great moments that made last season so me memorable. Good evening, everybody. Dave Farnick along with Jim Sinecropi. Brendan Harrington along with Tony Robinson. Matt Verkey and Harold Weber the dog here at courtside. Alongside Kevin Korzineski and Mike Alessio. Nice facility to do basketball. But we're ready for basketball. Hunter one against one. And Hunter driving all the way down. Yes! John Drew, beautiful pass! Shot from the corner. Good! Step back by Tyler Collins and carries it. Now they have numbers straight to the hole. And coming wide open on the out of bounds play is Jason. Garage is holding north for three. Good! Oh my God! Here comes Chance. Bounce pass. Turner. Lay it up in. Yeah! That's way way outside. Tony! Oh, yeah. Now yeah. the best 360 going up the place and good. Golden to the foul line, banks the wolf down low. Lost again right down Broadway, count it! Shot, oh, nice play. And a good evening from Newark. Donald Nisley Gymnasium in Geneva, New York. Victor High School. Jack Guinan Gymnasium in Ovid, New York. Welcome back to Bluefield High School. We are live back at the New York Iron Brendan College here in Seneca Falls, New York. Well, I just love these fans in the Atwood. Atwood animals out there. From Waterloo High School. Outstanding program that you have going, coach. We play varsity with this group of kids since we were little. I'd say we just want to keep improving and keep playing better and better. Senior year, get it with my friends. It's awesome. He's got numbers, pass every stone. Up the room, oh! And they find Fleischman for three. Bones! Devin Franklin behind the back, to the rim, up and under, lays it up and good. Three points for three. Two in a row! Big drive, foul line jumper. Go! Six seconds left to go. Drive to lane. A little runner. He's fouled in the basket. He's gone. Can you believe this kid, Corey? They're going to remember David Hunter for the rest of their lives. Congratulations to the Newark Friends. Naples out, Lions still alive, East Rochester still alive, Ganander, Minders out. Sexual titles and everything. If you come into our gym, you can look up sexual titles. Back to the Blue Cross, got to get another one. Robert spins it, the big Teddy Bear, PA, sends it into the second row. Wide open, Fleischman takes a three, hits it. He throws it away. Taylor Norris, right hit it, right up is good. The post started by Williams, up in the foul, and good. West pulls up for three. Bones! The Naples Big Green season comes to an end at 19 and 1. The North Rose Wolfpack Cougars represent the Third Wayne County team headed to the Blue Cross Arena. Congratulations to the Lions. Lions headed back to Blue Cross Arena. And the clock expires. And, and you are looking live at the Big House, the Blue Cross Arena in Rochester, New York.
first pass to PA, the big teddy bear with his first pass to the game. Gets it on the block. Up off the glass, and gets it up ahead to Pendleton. Right hand to layup is good off the glass. Oh, lays it up and gets a roll! Big rebound by Garrett Hoyt! Now he drives, lays it up and good! Wellsville 52, North Coast Wolf hit 36. You have to re block by Kaiserswap. Hunter skips it to PA, lays it off the glass and good. Lanes leads for the first time today. Reverse layup is good! Boss Kirk for three! Buttons! Bill gives it to Hunter off the glass. His father makes the basket. The Lanes Lions are up eight. Kaiserswap passes it to PA, lays it up and good. The big teddy bear is the big Weasley man tonight. The Lions, Lions are your 2015 Section 5 Class C3 champions. Great job by the guys. Number 17, one step closer to East High. Generations Bank President Menzo Case and Marketing Director Katie McIntyre were guests on Weber this week on Monday morning where they discussed next spring's Women's Right to Run 19K race and how important it is to share the history of women's rights in Seneca Falls. Seneca Falls is world renowned and think about it. A lot mm -hmm. of people remember and know that this, this town now is what it's all about. Right, and uh, we're trying to get some uh, some more press on this because yeah. it's important for our community. It's important for the Finger Lakes. The Finger Lakes, uh, it, Harriet Tubman's just down yes. the road in Auburn. Right. Uh, Waterloo has the McClintock House. There, there's important historical events that took place right here, and we're the ones that don't know it. Right. And we we need to we need to capitalize on it, frankly, because it needs to be told. The story needs to be told. That's why. Uh, particularly when Katie came, we were able to step forward and say, why don't we put this 19K on? I've been talking about it for about a year now, and we've been able to really get some ground groundwork done, and it's going to happen. Women's Right to Run is going to happen, and it's uh, May 7th, this coming May 7th, 2016. I know that's a day that's dear to you. Hey, my 50th <laughs> wedding anniversary with my lovable wife, Mary, if she's checking out the show this morning. Yeah, that's weird, May 7th, and... Uh, Looking forward to that, plus also our 50th wedding. Adventure. You guys can run the 19K uh, together. <laughs> no, maybe we could walk it, but, uh, you know. <laughs> but that anyways. would be very romantic. Oh, but yes, it would be. be nice. Well, we've got a 5K, too, so okay. a little bit less uh, strenuous. That's right. And it's going to be an exciting day. It really is. We've got Catherine Switzer as our public spokesperson, uh, and we've got quite a, quite a group working around it. Uh, what was that lady in Geneva that's helping us out? We have Jenna Ridding and uh, Nicole De Bloom. Yeah, so they're going to be helping us out organize the events around it. Mm. Uh, this, I think it's this month or next. It depends on when we can get the SFBA. We'd like to talk to them about what they're going to be able to do and, and work in some events mm. to tee off together. Mm. Um, the National Park is interested. The Women's Hall of Fame, of course, is, is the beneficiary. Sure. They're very interested. So we've got some... We've got some good action. Fleet Feet out of Rochester is actually going to uh, run the run the race. Mm -hmm. All the background, all that registration. And right. It's pretty pretty exciting. Katie, you brought a, a little uh, <coughs> you brought a little flyer here with us. I brought some of our posters. So I'll let we... you hold it up to the camera, and there you go. Let's see Jimmy here. can Jimmy can zero in on that. There you go. Neat. So we've yep. been working with the Martin Group out of Rochester and Buffalo, and they um, helped us make these posters. So they're vintage photography that was available from the Library of Congress. And mm -hmm. then we had a photo shoot for some modern color and people, and it's all uh, suffrage, old suffrage photos. Well, I think, you know, without, uh, since Menzel and myself are friends, and I respect the work that he does and the fact that uh, I am always endeared and I'm always thankful for the support you give not only this 19k tying into the 19th amendment etc cetera, etc cetera. but Menzo I don't think you get enough credit for all that you and your staff does for other things Habitat for Humanity uh, an ongoing uh, 
a favorite of yours, yeah. um, putting people in homes that can't afford them, that you go out and help, you and the committee help. Um, that's ongoing. Um, what you do for the Wonderful Life, which will be taking place next month, you have the tent up, you have all kinds of ceremonies involving engaging people from across the land and around the world that come to Seneca Falls. It's a big event. And, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, countless things that you're involved in. And, uh, you know, not because you're on my show this morning, but you guys at Generations Bank, led by you, certainly, if you weren't in favor of doing all this stuff, it wouldn't get done, I'm sure. Uh, but talk a little bit about the reason you're involved in so many things uh, that help people out. Well, <clears throat> it, it goes back to the heritage that we've inherited uh, through our corporation. <clears throat> We're from here. We're the last one. We're uh, the last Seneca County Bank. And frankly, as we lose our uh, financial institutions that were brought up in the 1800s, we start to lose focus. Our, our board is strongly committed to supporting the things that matter, the things that really count. Um, and it's really, we work where we, where we uh, live. Mm -hmm. So we want it, we're naturally involved in our communities. And this is just a natural outreach, uh, Habitat for Humanity. Our families <clears throat> just need a hand up. They don't need a hand out. Mm -hmm. They work with us. They build their homes. And then they pay for their homes. Mm -hmm. uh, what's better than going into a, a neighborhood and taking a dilapidated mess, mm -hmm. uh, a dumpy old house, mm -hmm. fixing it up with a family, and then getting it back on the tax roll so they're paying? <clears throat> There's nothing better. No. And getting the whole community to participate. I mean, we've got a lot of volunteers. I got to I got to do a shout out for NYCC. Mm -hmm. Their students are a big part of our uh, success in Habitat for Humanity. Mm -hmm. They're there just about every weekend. We've got a, at least one or two or maybe even up to 15, 20 of them mm. on site working and really involved and a lot of repeats, a lot of coming back. Uh we also strongly support Dare. Uh we've got to keep the kids off drugs. And with the, the news that I've heard lately, the heroin addict and you know, the heroin e epidemic, we've got to be involved. Mm -hmm. It's just something that it doesn't make sense to let this uh, continue without bringing people, uh, their students, parents, educators, police officers, um, just the general public, and gen uh, getting them together, talk about this problem, identify it, and then try to figure out a solution because these kids need need something better and mm -hmm. there there's plenty out there and you know we've got um i'm just trying to think of the things that american cancer tournament mm -hmm. is a big deal for us sure there's something that everybody is affected uh just in the past few weeks we've seen three people with brain cancer mm. it's just out of the blue yeah and we're happy to we're we're more than happy to support these families and through the american cancer society and through our efforts there so why do we do it? Because this is our community. This is what matters. That's and right. uh, we just got to be involved. There's and, just no other way to do it. And Menz is involved a lot of other things, including the world of sports. Speaking of the NYCC, we'll talk about him being the lead sponsor of what we are calling uh, the most sought after uh, and the most uh, uh, unbelievable uh, attack on high school basketball this year. 25 game slate starts a week from Saturday. And Menzo and Generations Bank is once again our title sponsor for all of our coverage. We'll get to that after we take this commercial break. This is Weber This Week, Menzo Case, Katie McIntyre in the house. Be sure to check back at FingerLakes1.com for the latest weather forecast and local news throughout the week. For FingerLakes1.com, I'm Jessica Lahr. Have a great weekend. So many sights to see on the internet, but for everything local, there's no place you can get it. At fingerlakeswan.com. Come on over to fingerlakeswan.com. Like us your home page. News, weather, sports, and fun. Log on to fingerlakes1. Local news from over 40 sources, custom local weather, over 10 hours of live broadcasts and podcasts every week on your computer, tablet, television, or smartphone. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year.
www.fingerlakes1.com.